All right, let's uh, get back to what's going on this side. Awful bar and fortune telling. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, see what happened after that. Last, huh? Oh shit. Uh, well, I don't know if I want to <laughs> go all the way to beat this oh, tonight. Oh, you came. Good. Want something to drink? With water? On the rocks? You don't have to be shy. It's on me. It's such a bizarre case, the HB serial killings. That being said, the facts are fairly straightforward. Pointing out a culprit can't be too hard. Do you already know? Terror. Who are they, really? Who is Terror? Wait, no Ibis room. Are we not Mizuki right now? It's Dolly a boat, clearly. <laughs> Oh, I should have realized Tate wasn't there. That makes sense. Wandered all over the country after losing his memory in the explosion six years ago. After seeing the news of Jin's left hat being found, he gained his memories. In order to perform his own investigation, he is Gen's mask. Where was Somazak? Somazuki. Right. Uru. We know he killed at least three people. Right. Jin Furue. Mm -hmm. Chikara Horadori. Andes Komeji. But right. why did he kill them? What was his goal? For me. Uh, yeah, to get. That's right. Yeah. Let's get the Nirvana, the Nirvana initiative. initiative. The loony plan to have humans reach Moksha. That's why Uru right. killed the three of them. We can put aside the little details for now. The most concerning aspect of the whole thing is the time difference. Yeah. The left and right sides of the victims were found six years apart. Regarding the first victim, the facts are already in. Six years ago, on right. February 10th, Jin Furaway's body fell from the ceiling of Devita. And this yeah. year, five days ago, also on the 10th, Uru Somizuki's left half was found at the stadium, not Jin's. Right. Plastic surgery and complete organ transplants. Mm. It fooled the investigators into thinking they were the same person. But what about the other victims? Chikara, Komeji, Tokiko, how do you explain those three? You have good intuition. You might already know. Seems like their bodies appeared after six years passed. No, not hallucinations. The right and left half of their bodies were found. No doubt about that. You've been brainwashed. You can't be taking Tokiko seriously, honey. It's all a lie. Probably. Wait, what? Time. Right. What the time?
timeline wasn't in the right order. In other words, it's not like that. It's like this. <laughs> of course. This is the timeline that you actually experienced. But Mizuki... The red and blue lines are intertwined, almost like DNA. How do you explain people aging up then? You started on the red line from the top, right. and then followed the blue line, which led you to this point. You've traversed four X's. Okay. The left side is six years ago, and the right side is this year. To make things easier, we'll call the left side past, and the right side present. In other words, okay. you came here, jumping back and forth between past and present, a day at a time, all to end up here. Now do you understand? Chikara's right half was found the night of the 11th, in the past. Yes. His left half was found the next morning. Komeiji's right half was found on the 13th. Right. His left half was found the next morning at 6 a.m. Six but years have passed, and now we're here. Explain Mizuki being In the here. present, Tokiko's right half was found on February 12th. The next day, a little past midnight, her left half was found in the basement of Horidori Institute. Long story short, the left and right halves weren't found six years apart. But they distinctly, oh, they only distinctly said that with Jen. They were all found soon after each other. Nothing supernatural here. But like I said, explain people's ages then. Yeah, can I check that? Right, six years ago. Anyone imagines? Intuition's right to know. Nothing to be done. The balloons was six years ago. Wait, you synced with terror in the past six years in the past? How the fuck did we you could get back on the police force then? In touch. Not all a dream. Okay, what was... She wasn't... No, six years ago. Right. She wasn't... Spirit. 
You know, I really shouldn't have been surprised, but I'm not sure how I would have guessed that with Mizuki Age. Anyway, that's just my genius analysis. Oh, but I know what you're going to say. Yeah, please There's do. There's still tons of things that can't be explained, right? Especially who killed Uru and Tokiko, Jin, Chikara, Komeji. It was terror, Uru who sliced these three in half. But then Uru was killed in the right. present, February 10th. Yeah. Tokiko's body was found after that. So who killed Uru and Tokiko? Uh... Sure, this mess will be cleared up soon by Mizuki, her friend, and by you, Freya. What? So anyway, good luck with the rest of your investigation. I'll be cheering you on. Into. Maybe I've had a bit too much to drink. It's awfully <laughs> cold tonight. You don't say, Mama. Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> okay, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> hey, Mask Suki. Hey, about Kizzy. Are you sure she's okay? Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. Oh, I see. Now you're yeah. Now you're sounding. makes us sisters we're not the same age but we're like identical twins yeah you're six years older we have almost the same genes that's crazy i'm a copy of you yeah that's what i thought don't say it like that but i'm your clone right technically yes but our dna isn't exactly the same my genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that, which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade. The perfect version of me. Don't say it like that. At least she's the original I was based off of, but I don't want to think about it like that. I'm a big sister by proxy. I realize I'm saving a lot, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know what to make on this. Yeah, the same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. Probably. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki. <laughs> and we look easier. Everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you Mizuki. It's like I told you. I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. Right. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. Okay. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. Right. 
If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. In one way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Choco. I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible, anyway. So are your parents Renju and Choco? Get a normal job. A normal husband, get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal <laughs> life at that point. I mean, you gotta go find <laughs> Maybe that's true. They took me to Horidori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, I say examinations. I mean human experiments. I don't think you remember. But they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. My time with Horidori Institute ended when I was nine and you were three. Shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. Okay. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right. Yeah. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by... The Chiedas. I spent the next six years there. Right. Up until I was 15. I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. I see. That's why she called me Big Sis. cannot be shared with anyone. If you do, I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. Was I playing as you? We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. Iba, you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed in the explosion at the cathedral. The Abyss communication network was also offline, so there was no backup taken. <sighs> what? I... Without that... I mean, obviously, I, I realized that from a gameplay mechanic, they can't have. And story point, if they had Mizuki's appearance switching back and forth, it would be a giveaway, but... You said something about an eccentric woman? That would be boss, right? Yeah. I was adopted by her. Do you mean Shizue Kuranushi? Boss. Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. You think that sounds kind of lame, huh? No, it's not that. <laughs> yeah. You know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. So she wanted to make you work for her. I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what she told me. No, I don't think that's all it was. Boss taught me how to fight. After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, <laughs> I was hired as a top-secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Ryuki? Ryuki? Why? I wonder... By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. 
Probably. But wouldn't that make it... I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was I Mouse, and you were Rabbit. Oh. I see. And you remember what they called us at Iowan, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Bibi. Bibi? Yeah. <laughs> Bibi, huh? Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. Yeah. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. Follow me. I want to show you something. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB. <laughs> Format persons. Huh. I would not have I would not have guessed that back and forth time stuff, but I'm glad I was at least able to guess the other thing. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is so, I, I don't know why that was just so funny that just seemed like out of nowhere <laughs> that's amazing Like, that is actually, actually amazing. <laughs> this is information overload! My brains are gonna flow out of my ears! <laughs> Jeez, just relax. I can't just relax! Oh. What is this corpse doing here? And why are Kizzy and Leon here? Hey, Kizzy, hey, Leon. Most importantly, why is that perverted idiot back here? And where the fuck have you been? <laughs> right? I, I'm... Who the hell is this? Uh. <laughs> what? Isn't it obvious? Wait. You're that stupid porno mag collecting old man. No. Yes. What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? Ah, oh, you do care. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mizuki. Okay. Oh, I think I kind of get it. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed on him. Then right. he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. And he's been wandering the earth for the past six years. Five days ago, on the 10th, he heard the news about Jin's body being found. Right. And finally got his memory back. That's right. My voice reaches Date's brain right now. That's because there's a reason reception device in his left eye socket. You can mute me by turning it off, but it's a real hassle, so it's still on. Same for Ms. Suki Kuranushi. She hears my voice, too. Suki Kuranushi is kind of long. I'll just call her BB. <laughs> Do you like insects? Yeah, sure. I'll enjoy drinking with it. Alright. I 
Aha. So I thought. Okay, so we got everything filled in here. Hey, let's go. Yeah, I thought. Best and best undercover special agent likes, but Suki Dante dislikes. I know he messes with her. Hami is watching over her. What? <laughs> Suki Dante was born from her DNA, also like a little sister. Swift it out until she was three years old. Suki knew she secretly watched over Suki Dante from afar, watching her grow up. Is like, hey, if I have two Mizukis going, it is snowing outside, but do not worry about us. My heart is burning strong. I am a little embarrassed to admit this, but Leon and I got lost. Plan to elope. Oh, what may I ask why? Gizzy's <laughs> father won't accept me. He threatened to send Leon to prison if he continued to see me. That's when I suggested that we run off together. And I agreed. So you two... Yeah. They're both on the run for love. But we don't know exactly where we want to go yet. Right. We need some more time to think about it. Huh. I suppose Big Sis has already told you everything. Big Sis and I lived in the same home for six years. But I never thought my Big Sis was my Big Sis's Big Sis. So confusing. Anyway, Mizuki Date, I will call you Little Big Sis from now on. And you, Mizuki Kuranushi, I will call you Big Big Sis. Still, just as confusing. Mizuki <laughs> is BB's clone. Date already knows this. Oh, BB told him. But Kazuna and Leon don't know this yet. They think they're just sisters. Like I have told him that I am safe and sound. Okay. Well, I'm glad you weren't kidnapped. I am so sorry that I worried you. Yeah. I'm sorry about all this, you guys. I've known her for a long time. She's a huh. former co worker. From back when I was doing bad stuff. Back then, I used to call her Quartz. Hey, don't just blurt that out! Mizuki's name comes from Crystal. The kanji for Crystal can be read as Mizuki. Crystals are the solid form of silicon dioxide, a mineral most often recognized as Quartz. Wait, so oh, you that were makes in a thieves guild, BB? The snow isn't letting up. Don't change the subject. <laughs> Why do you ask? No reason. It is currently 4.25 a.m. Daybreak is close. I told you that we wanted to run away together. And I wanted to be with Leon. I got a call from my old pal Date. I asked him to unlock something for me. Are you talking about the freezer? No. I got that open on the 13th. It was oh. a different lock this time. Anyway, that is when oh, we met the with one Date the and the woman place. he was with. The woman? I was there too. I mean, I'm guessing Dante is the last one we have to talk to. I wonder if the flowcharts are gonna back to how they were with the endings and stuff that they can jump to. Okay. Fine, I'll do the tro true flowchart thing.
Oh, this is gonna hurt my mind. <laughs> like, this is really gonna hurt my brain. As if things already didn't know. If the terror is, if the freer, rather, is just Blick Winkle again. You know that uh, thing from Ever Seventeen, or that, or if it's like that guy from uh, the epilogue bit of Richie's Last Reward. It's one of those things. Last night, Date called me out of the blue. He told me about the corpse. I see. And how he was pretending to be Genny. And everything else he knew. I don't know. Not here. It's fine. I know <laughs> where he is. Don't you have an idea too? Baby. But what? Yeah, it is it is uh, good to know that they're using like a sort of deeper Oh, nothing. I just wanted to call you by that name. Point oh, may collect an old man. Also, my adopted father. Ugh. What? Do you have more insults to hurl at me for missing six years of your life? No, it's not that. Maybe she just wanted to hear you say, Mizuki, you've grown so much, or something emotional like that. No, not that either. <laughs> ah, right. For you, it's been six years. For me, it's different. I've been back for four days dressed like this. I've been watching you guys the whole time, so I don't really have anything savvy to say. I told you, it's not that! I'm home. Welcome back. Is that what you wanted to hear? Alright, okay. Let me try this again. Mizuki, I'm home. Welcome back, Date. But that's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> I threw away all your porno mags. No! <laughs> yeah, I thought you weren't coming back, so I tossed them. I know that Horidori Institute and Nyes are both caught up in the HB case. Ken was created at the Institute, and he was acquaintances Wait, with Tokiko. He was? Oh, I, I, I guess. So, by borrowing his mask, I could snoop on Tokiko and other members of Horidori Institute. So, okay, so the reason we saw Tokiko was that... Wait. When did but So that stuff of when we saw Tokiko there. That was six years ago. still look like that here. Horidori Institute and nice people come here all the time. Imitating Gen makes it easier to eavesdrop on them. Let's talk about it later. Trust me, if I explain it now, it'll only confuse you. I'm gonna be honest, this has gotten way out of hand. I can't do this on my own. We need to work together to stop their plan. Their plan? Yeah, the Nirvana Initiative. So first, I contacted Mizuki Kuranushi. Date and I met six years ago. Oh. He knew how to get a hold of me. Okay. So 
So we were playing as you. I shared everything I had and told her to find you, Mizuki. Is that what they're trying to, to say? Stop them? Basically. Okay, I'll ask again. <laughs> yeah, uh, please do. What's the deal with the corpse? Why is it in the freezer? It's better that you see for yourself. <sighs> Let me just show you. Another corpse? No, not one more. Not one at all. It's just half. half. Yeah. Jinfu always have. Hmm. Oh, we're going down here. No, I'm I'm gonna pause this and then do a uh, <laughs> shorter one and all that because I I don't know. I suspect this is getting closer to the end than how do I put it? Closer to the end than I would like, considering it's twelve thirty in the morning and I really. <laughs> Would not want to have to uh, continue this for another three hours of stuff all tonight. Not to say I, I don't want to go through it, just that if I went until like 3.30 out of this, I would not be able to properly like comprehend <laughs> and all that. So as soon as I can menu and see. So, all that. finished reading the file. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, actually, next. Uh, now do you understand? Now you know whose left half is in the freezer. Jin. Jin Furaway. That's right. what he really looks like. And this body? Uru Somazuki. Terror. Yeah. He murdered three people six years ago. Jin, Chikara, and Andy's Komeji. Right. <laughs> and now that is that time to save. You know what? Sure. Let's talk it over, Iba. Because why not? And I may need it anyway. Worried about work? Are you kidding me? Worried about money? Hmm. Business issues? That must be rough. That's Can't because be. you choose the job you want. There are tons of jobs out there. There is a business opportunity in things other people don't want to so do. So hey, you can do the really shitty, low-paying, high-stress jobs that others don't want to do. And then you too can feel dead inside just as bad if not worse than you currently do now that's one way of thinking those who don't pay their fair dues should be terminated from society yeah that's that's kind of a there are many work it. society is honestly shit in its values a lot of the time i think this is the perfect assignment for me 
Yes, I think you have been performing excellently. I am not in the least bit worried. Well, that's good. I look good in... Oh, right, I have to buy them. That's it. I forgot about that. All right. I will be right back.